Hello, hello, party people. Sorry that the volume is uh, too high or too low. I'm still messing around with the uh, conference room mic, um, which I, you know, I, I think I introduced it in a video, didn't I? I can't remember all my videos. Um, so we are in the red room, not for for a change, not because we're flaming anyone or you know going shade at anyone, but um. That was a rare opportunity, but you know, you gotta take it while you can take it. Um, uh, I don't think I really did a life update or anything, but this isn't a life update. This is um, just some stuff that transpired that will affect my future as well as other people's futures. Um, specifically, the members of this household. So, I'm going to try to explain something to you guys, and a lot of you might not understand or get what I'm talking about, which is okay. You know, um, you uh, might not be familiar with the culture, you might not be even be a minority at all, um, or maybe you are and you're just not like me, however way that is. Um, <coughs> So, uh, I had to um, narrow down certain places where I was thinking of going. Um, you know, I, I would obviously wait to see what happens immediately with the virus, you know, just as long as everything, uh, you know, becomes uh, relatively smooth as it appears to be now. I don't know. Um, <coughs> so, I looked at some locales. I was looking at uh, Providence, of course, since um, I'd already considered living there. I was looking at um, this. This would be the ideal spot, but I think it's just it's just too too much at once. Um, I was looking at Miami. I would. I don't even know how to swim. I know I would like it. Um, I was also looking at. Uh, Chicago spent some time there I'd like to think I have good memories there um, then there was a uh, this is the move that makes the most sense because um, I have a couple of PlayStation friends out there and um, so I would know people it wouldn't be like I knew nobody but that's what I did with Vegas I just went there and I didn't know anybody it didn't end well but um, I, I had a uh, I think it was a year and a half relationship out of it, um, which I don't regret. Um, I do regret not fixing it the way I would have liked to have fixed it, so to speak, but you know, you can't always get what you want. Um, yeah, so it makes sense to go to Denver and um, uh, I decided to talk to the patriarch and matriarch of this household about it, and um, they they were not enthusiastic about the idea. Um, I told them that, you know, as far as I know, it would only be temporary. Um, you know, I, you know, they're getting kind of older, so you know, what comes with getting older is also, you know, as much as people don't like to talk about, it, it also comes with death. And um, I had planned on returning to Connecticut from wherever I was living at the time, possibly Denver. Um, actually, I said I was thinking maybe Boulder. Anyway, you know, it was regardless, Colorado in general. Um, I was planning on coming back when any one of the other members of this household passed away. And. Uh, you know, I can only do so much, but you know, I would, I would take care of what needs to be taken care of, and um, I don't want to say, like, obviously, it wouldn't matter if they said yes or no. It would just matter if I was comfortable doing this temporary move against their desires, their wishes, um, not those kind of wishes, anyway, uh, 
So there's this thing, and I don't expect anyone else to understand it. It's called the Chinese way. And um, it's the Chinese way says, or it doesn't literally say it, you know, it, it means that um, I have to take care of my parents in their younger years, and of course, I have to take care of my sibling, who is, let's just say he's sick, um, um, that's just, I didn't realize that's what I signed up for, but I understand why it, it appears it has to be this way. Um, Normally, this is the role, majority-wise, the role of the eldest son, and he's not exactly in the best of health, so the responsibility falls upon me. I, 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 I said this little quick, uh, this quick um, anecdote to uh, one of my cousins was that, um, if you ever told me that I would turn out to be the most normal member of this household over a certain period of time, I would not believe it. But um, not that that's a necessarily good or bad thing. It just means, why is my camera doing this? This is really, it just means, um, uh, I don't want to say I don't have a choice, but uh, random reference. But um, um, what was what was his screen name again? The random puzzler, I think. Um, he advised me that it's my life, and I can do whatever I want, what I want with my life. Now that would normally be okay if the Chinese way didn't exist. Unfortunately it does. And sometimes I don't understand how other other people in general just can't fathom what that means. Cause I don't think people realize that I mean they're aware of it of course, but you know there's certain situations where like if if um like how do I phrase this? Um, the older people get, typically the sicker they get. And for people who don't have siblings, we're all aware, we just choose to ignore it sometimes, that we would not exist if it wasn't for our parents. Um, and that's why a lot of people, especially minorities and their families, wonder like, how can some, you know, offspring, let's call them, because they're not children, they're um, they're adults. How can they just put their parents like in a retirement home? How can they just, I don't want to say abandon them, but I mean, in terms of health, if they needed to be there, then of course they would need to be there. But I think the majority of older people who are put in homes, you know, for lack of a better term, they don't need to be there. They just, their, you know, so-called kids just don't want to help them out. They, they either don't have time or they don't have the patience. Um, there's a lot of other factors like money, etc. But ignoring those, at least for the moment, um, It looks like um, I may be in Connecticut a little longer than I expected. If it seems like I'm sad about this, it's because I am. Um, I try to 
rationalize it and um, you know make my feel, make myself feel better by saying there's no rush. There's um. I wonder if my my camera lens is smudged or something. Um. Yeah, um, I have the rest of my life to figure this out, but the rest of their lives is. What, what do I even call it? The rest of their lives is what? Unpredictable? Because it sort of is predictable. I'm just saying if, if you're sick or you're old, eventually you're going to die. Um, especially if the sickness is detrimental to your longevity. Um, I was going to make a video tonight with one of my PlayStation friends. Um, uh, we were going to you know, just like, uh, well, I didn't tell him this, but I think you might assume, but, um, I, uh, we were just gonna play Genshin Impact together and just talk about shit, um, and, but the problem is with the audio, um, I need, like, a cable to get both the audio and the game sound in one shot, in one video, and, um, but I'm waiting for that until tomorrow, so hopefully it'll work, hopefully we can make that video tomorrow because I was, I was actually looking forward to it and um uh there's some interesting stories behind uh it's, it's just I'll tell it tomorrow if we get to it um but back to the topic at hand um so instead I'm spending this Friday night in a red room and um I'm uh making a YouTube video I mean, like, people are getting a little bit way too comfortable with this whole stipulation that Omicron is not as deadly. People are getting a little bit too comfortable. I understand the logic behind that, but, like, people are getting a little bit too comfortable right now, in my opinion, in my opinion. Um... I don't know. Let me see if I fix this. I'm gonna mess around with the guys, sorry. Was it, I think maybe it was a stability thing that was still doing it. Huh. So, um, um, I think, uh, one of the, um, members of this household told me that, uh, They, they felt they were getting older, and like, I, they, they don't, they don't necessarily say their health is deteriorating, but, you know, in case someone got sick, in case I got sick, you know, like, and it's funny because like, there are some families and cultures where they couldn't wait for their offspring to move out. They, they encouraged it, um, but. Given these circumstances, let me emphasize that this this is not the Chinese way, and because that way does exist right now, I don't want to say I don't have a choice, but I don't have a choice. Um, I mean, like this might sound weird to you guys, because meeting people finding a new girlfriend like for some reason these aren't priorities of mine anymore and it's concerning to me that they're not um but at the same time like I'm not I'm not like stressing out over it um, I know it should be because I only I'm only I'm not getting any younger um, It's just uh, um, If you want to look at it from a percentage point of view from a statistical mathematic point of view The cards played out and they don't they did not play out in my favor um, 
I mean, some people confuse the Chinese way with the term like do the right thing. Like, the problem is that statement is different for every culture. Um, I can't speak on behalf of any other culture besides speculating with the races of the friends I've had, ethnicities, etc. I I don't know what to do, but I know what I have to do. I know what I'm going to do, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. I don't feel like my time is running out to, you know, have a so-called normal life. I feel like, like when did I stop moving forward and I decided to just stay in the same spot and I don't know how to explain to people that. Some people would be like, if I could afford to move out, I would move out. Well, I have some money saved up. Let's just say it's in the five figures. Um, they're not the money is not in my name due to uh, due to legal reasons. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to get into all that now. But um, <clears throat> I wonder if I made a noise on the mic. Sorry about that. Um. This, this is going to be my life, I guess, at least for however long people are living these days. I have no idea. Um, but in terms of passing away from natural causes, of course, not like the virus or some other shit. Um, like, are there some cultures that I think they don't appreciate their parents enough? Of course. Are there some cultures that I think give up too much for their parents? Of course. Now where I fall in that spectrum, I'm somewhere in the middle but I'm leaning towards giving up too much. Theoretically, what am I giving up? I'm giving up time. To an extent, I'm giving up effort. Um, but there's nothing, because I have no desire to start a family, there's nothing that needs to rush me. Um, my biological clock is not ticking. Um, it would just be nice if I had at least the option to decide what I want to do. And some people are going to tell me, you still do, you still do. I wish I could make you understand that this is not my choice. I am not in control of this choice. I I mean, if I wanted to, could I just leave? Of course. Assuming, you know, I got the funds I needed and whatnot. I mean, I don't know what would happen in that scenario, but I'm pretty sure all my relatives um, every one of them would, on both sides of the family, they would, they would probably never talk to me again if they found out I did something like that. And, um, that, that is because, you know, this, the sides of this family, um, both sides of this family, uh, are either Chinese or descendants of China, um, like, in my opinion, in East Asia, every every country that exists now in East Asia was a descendant of China. Because if you look at the you know the, the the cave paintings or whatever, like the the proof and fossils and blah blah blah, they indicate that the Chinese dynasties were one. Like we're talking thousands, if not tens of thousands of years, that the lunar calendar runs 
and going that far back when these other East Asian countries didn't exist at least they weren't documented to exist at least but when China became expanding you ever wonder why a lot of East Asian people look alike? It's because we all came from um, the holy city of Canton that's where the word Cantonese come from that is a dialect of Chinese um, Chinese itself is not a language, I don't know if you guys knew that it is an ethnicity no one actually speaks Chinese, they either speak Cantonese, Mandarin, or Fukunese. Um Fukunese, as far as I know, is a dying language, I think, I have no idea. Um, it's a very, I think it's still a very rare dialect. Regardless, I mean, I have to do what I have to do, but obviously that doesn't mean I have to like it. I mean, does, does it make me inadvertently, you know, like, like a, like almost like a, if a selfless act existed, does it make me feel good about myself? I guess. But does it make me happy? That's a million dollar question. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna hang out here. <clears throat> I mean, we'll see, we'll see what happens when the weather gets warmer. If I leave this little um, man cave, if you want to call it that, when I leave this room and maybe go back to to the normal civilized society and like I don't know if I can talk to people, meet new people, etc. Like, I have, like, fucking, like, five or six dating apps on my phone, and I never fucking use them. I mean, I don't I don't never use them. It's just that I use them to the point until I don't want to use them anymore. But I leave them there in case I do want to start using them anymore, which usually always happens. It's just that that time period, that gap in time, is... Sometimes it seems like it's getting bigger and bigger. Like, besides the feeling, feeling that I know that I'm doing the right thing, I know this sounds a little messed up, but what am I getting out of this, out of this transaction, if you want to call it? What, what, how does this benefit me? And I feel bad thinking like that, because in my heart of hearts, in my mind of minds. I do consider that selfish, as probably any other East Asian person would, assuming the culture was similar to Chinese, but Chinese culture, but it's just like, I guess I was supposed to know this ahead of time, I just, I mean, in the back of my mind, I sort of knew it, but no one actually sat down and explained this to me. Um, I mean, regardless of whether people get along or not, I don't know. Like, I just, it would be nice if there was a different way to do this. If there was another way, another option. And, um, I, I roll it over in my mind over and over and I don't. I don't see one. So, whatever we learned, hopefully some of you guys have learned something about Chinese culture, um, you know, the, the dynasties and the generations. For those of you that uh, don't know, uh, there's this famous long-running video game, computer game series, um, it's called The Three Kingdoms. Typically, the game that people think of is the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. There, now I don't know, I don't remember all the details, but there's Wei, Wu, and Shu. Those were the Three Kingdoms, and I wouldn't say constantly, but like for a long period of time, they were at war with each other, trying to conquer this entire land that, at the time, they thought this was the only 
civilization that existed because people hadn't spread out far enough yet and um, you know there's also history about the Great Wall of China the, um, the Mongolians um, Genghis Khan uh, I can go on and on about this but I only know so much I really it might seem like I know a lot but I really don't I really don't um, Well, I'm going to call on this one. Um, I don't want to say I'm sad about this, but maybe disappointed is the right word. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other.